it's starting to rain. So putting the camera away, putting my pack cover on, and just, I don't know, hiking. gotta keep hiking but I love you and I'll miss you so much good morning Diane and I just took a break we've been doing um, a climb for a couple miles and we're a little tired so just took a nice little break in the shade and we're going to continue our climb. It's actually pretty chilly. Uh, we're climbing, obviously, like I just said, so um, the, the air is a bit crisper and there's some wind, so we keep getting chilly. And I was actually really, really, really cold last night. I went to sleep with my Melly and my jacket on, and I had my Melly like hoodie wrapped around my head the whole night. And I was all cozied up in my sleeping bag. So it was pretty chilly and we were by some water. So you know how that kind of affects the air a bit. But yeah, we're just trucking along and I came across this really cool sign. It looks like a trail. So I'm just curious if any of you have done this trail before because it looks fun. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, established in 1982. It goes this way. Our trail, you can see maybe the marker there. Woo! Armstrong Pass, five more miles. But it's pretty cold, so I'm gonna put this camera away, get my pack on, and start trucking up that mountain because we have, mm, I think, maybe like three and a half more miles or three miles, something like that. So. We have a long ways to go. It's just so nice outside. It's so hard to move. just started to climb north on the east side of the trail and already I can tell that it just feels different. There's less trees, it's a little bit more dry and a lot of the 
trail is like sand and it's like white. So one thing that's really cool about through hiking any kind of trail is that you get to see how the trail changes um, as you move along and we're seeing that with the Tahoe Rim Trail. So it's just pretty unique and we're getting some different views because we're obviously on a different ridge line and it's really a special trail so far. So I just thought I'd, you know, let you guys know and see what I'm seeing and yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. I don't think it's going to affect us, but there's definitely some thunderstorms happening behind me. Um, about five minutes ago, I heard a lot of thunder, but the clouds are pretty far and it doesn't look like they're moving toward us, but we're finally getting some cloud coverage and it feels really nice. It's pretty hot out here and in, in a lot of sections exposed. So I'll take the cloud coverage anytime. That's where the thunderstorm is supposed to be. Okay. Good, thank you so much. Uh -huh. The clouds have moved in and we're hearing thunder and so we're trying to book it up this hill so we can get down the other side and hopefully have no problems but yeah it's pretty dark Diana and I just got done with a massive climb. That could be probably the worst we've done so far. But I'm trying to calm down because these are also mountain bike trails. And you know, I'm climbing up and there's these two mountain bikers literally flying down the trail. And they didn't see me. And I saw them, you know, like a second before they were gonna contact me. And I had to like jump like off the side of the little ledge into trees and bushes as they just like zoomed past me and I was so mad I'm still really mad and I'm trying to walk it off and calm down but if he, he would have hit me like I told Diana he was going so fast that there's no way that I wouldn't have broken something or gotten really really injured so oh those pesky mountain bikers no we've seen a lot today and They've all been really respectful and walking their bikes past us and all that. It was just those two that just were f flying by. <laughs> and there's nowhere for me to move. Like I'm on, at that point I was like on a ledge, you know? So thank goodness there were like, um, sort of like this, like a group of, you know, trees and rocks and bushes a little further down the ledge, but it was like a cliff. So, I had to like leap into that. And anyway, just gonna walk it off. 
we're trying to run away from this storm. So there's, there's a lot going on right now, but it's okay. It's okay. We stopped at this really nice water source and I realized it's starting to rain. So putting the camera away, putting my pack cover on and just, I don't know, hiking. We have nowhere to go. Hear that thunder? Okay, bye for now. This is Star Lake, and originally we were not gonna camp here. We were gonna go another like five miles, but because um, it's raining a little bit and the thunder and everything, we decided to camp here, and it's beautiful. So. We're not doing as many miles today, but that's okay. Um, you just gotta make the most of your hike for whatever elements bring you. That doesn't make sense. So Diane and I are scouting out some campsites now and then hopefully put up my tent real quick and then make sure everything stays as dry as possible. <laughs> It stopped raining and now the sun's out and it's extremely nice so we ate dinner and we're gonna walk around our friend with the horses are on the other side of the lake and so we're gonna go say hi because we love them Who's that? oh you're so wet How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good, thanks. Are those your horses? No, no. We're, we made friends with them. Oh, so we're okay. going to, yeah? They're beautiful horses. <laughs> yes. <gasps> There's the other doggy. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. And this is my puppy. He just joined me this morning. Yeah, where did you get him at? My husband met, met me at the, at the trailhead, you know, at oh. the parking lot. Yeah. Hi. Oh. Oh. See, I could ride home from here. That's literally how close I am. Hi. You, I missed you guys. Don't bungee things. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Tongo um, and so, Kip. Yeah, horses, if, if you don't have pasture, which I don't, it can be expensive to buy hay. Oh. And then that check ligament holds them up. And if their check ligament goes out, they fall down when they sleep. Because they, they, it's not working right. Yeah. But oh, that's so interesting. They take naps laying it's down. Gonna be... <laughs> this is prime video. <laughs> we grab our cameras. Sorry, him. Chip. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very solid stream. That's funny. Hey, how's your day going? He goes, well, it was good. And I go... What happened? He goes, well, now I have to watch his horse poop. Inside of his butthole. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, God. I'm <laughs> sorry, everybody. I missed the poop. But I, wait, the horse no, I don't want to embarrass. The biggest poop in, no, the horse was taking the biggest poop, and we were waiting for this. Well, I was waiting for this. And the horse starts pooping, and she didn't, she didn't miss the footage. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to embarrass Chip and put his inside of his butthole on. <laughs> Chip, I got your back, bro. Sorry, Chip. Well, I think I'm going to take advantage of us stopping five miles earlier than we planned to try to go to bed early and get some rest so that we can have a long day tomorrow. So the thunderstorm and rain turned into a beautiful evening with just an insane sunset. So I guess the storm was worth it. Gosh, that was really cheesy. Tomorrow we will be hitting the halfway point and that makes me very happy. So tomorrow will be a great day and we will also be going from California and crossing over into the Nevada border. 
Yay for Nevada. All right, you guys, um, talk to you tomorrow.